Hey, and welcome back from the previous video. We have everything set up to where we can now start coding. And just so you can understand, in Unity, we can use JavaScript, we can use C Sharp. So we're going to be using C Sharp. And in order to make this button work, we're going to have to now start diving into code. So far, we've been dealing with the interface and, you know, the interface of the application and the interface of our game and that sort of stuff. And now we want to actually make things think. We want to make it grow. We want to make it do things, right? So when the person plays it. So that means we're going to have to add code. And the first thing I want to do is think about my organization. Right now, I have all this, uh, these files down here, sprites, scenes, fonts, and I want one called scripts. So I'm going to go here and create a folder called scripts. And inside of this folder, I'm going to create a script that I will add on to the scene. Now, just keep in mind that a script does not really run on its own in in Unity, unless it's here on the screen, you know, then you can have the, the game has direct access to it. So we're going to first create an object here where our script will reside. Um, I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to create an empty object. I'm going to rename this object menu controller. And on this menu controller, I'm going to eventually add the script here, or I can just add the script here. I can add it directly to this by clicking on this and adding a component or adding it to this and then dragging it there. The advantage of adding it directly to this is that already I don't have to add it um, separately. Uh, but the advantage of adding it directly into the folder means I don't have to drag it into the folder. So either way is the same. You know, you're going to have to do one extra step anyway. So I just decided to go ahead and add the script right here inside of my scripts folder. And I'm going to go ahead here and hit create. And I'm going to create myself a C sharp script. And I'm going to call this script menu controller. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this menu controller on the script onto this menu control object here. So, but now what I'll see is this menu controller object here, and then I can see that that script is attached to it. All I need to do now is double click on this to open it up. I don't really need to worry about the start on this one so much, and I really don't need to worry about the update. So I'm going to get rid of those. And I basically want to import by typing using, I'm going to import a Unity Engine Scene Manager. So I'm going to type using unity engine dot scene manager and right here i'm going to create myself a uh load a scene loader or load scene procedure so here's my load scene So I have my load scene and basically what it's going to do is we're going we're creating this procedure here and basically what it's going to do is take this scene name from here and it's going to use it inside of the scene manager. So I'm going to go ahead and type scene manager here and then I'm going to type load scene and it's going to go ahead and take that scene name that we have up on top. That's basically it. All we need to do is give this now to something that's going to take the scene name. And you guessed it. We're going to give it to the button. So I can go ahead now and go right back to Unity here. And there's a few things I need to make sure of first before I'm able to even use this inside of my scene. I have to first go here to File. And inside the file, I am going to go to Build Settings. And inside the build settings, what you're going to see is, you'll if you don't see this, it means these are not in your build settings and you won't be able to access it using the scene manager. Mine are already in there, but if you don't see yours in here, all you have to do is add the open scene if the scene is currently open. Or you can go to your scenes file and you can pretty much just drag it in there like this. And if you don't want one in there, then basically you can just 
remove it from the list by deselecting it or deleting it. So right now I have this as my main scene opening. This is going to start the game and this is going to go next. But that's out of order. So I don't want this one to be last. I want this one to start the game. So I'm going to push that above that first one. When I'm done with this, I can go ahead and just close it. Now all I need to do is go here to this button and then I'm going to go all the way down here into the on click event. I'm going to hit the plus. Inside of here, you'll see it says an object that is looking for this runtime object. So I'm going to go ahead and use this menu controller that I created and put that in here. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go into menu controller and in the menu controller I have this load scene and that's the one I'm going to use. So looking at my scenes uh, from the start, I want it to go here to this scroll game A scene. That's the name of the scene. So it's going to be looking for that. I'm going to go ahead and add that inside of the parameter. Now, where did I get this? I got this parameter input box here because inside of the code, I have this required for that. So that's what creates that input box is saying, hey, there's a variable, an argument that needs to be fulfilled here. So it creates this input box for me to fill it from here in the interface. So now we have a button that should actually open up the next scene. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Let me hit play. Hit start. And there we go. It moves to the next scene. We, we're on our way to actually creating an awesome game. So after this, what we should probably do is get our character start moving and jumping and all that sort of stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you share this video. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below.